I was sitting around with a group of girls and we were talking about how um, this is supposed to be the best part of our life. Traveling and feeling great all the time and being unencumbered with children and it's not starting off great. Going into the perimenopausal phase was in for some great surprises. The sleepless nights, you don't have that same desire to instigate intimacy. The hot flashes, you're sitting there and all of a sudden you're having one and then you're aware that you're getting all flushed and red and you're, and you're talking with someone that you're having a professional meeting with and it can be very awkward and unsettling. I think what um, my kids have noted more than anything is just how forgetful. I am. The feeling that I'm having, that I'm longing for, is to gain control of where I'm at. I just want to be who I am. And I feel as if, in a way, I've lost that a little bit. Profemin has taken my menopause by storm. Before Profemin, I just felt achy, and I didn't even realize that it was associated with the menopausal symptoms. And then when it's gone, and you're realizing, oh my gosh, I feel so good all around. It's wonderful to have that, not just your energy back, but no aches and pains and no headaches and, you know, you're centered, you're able to have conversations with people and engage. Actually, my daughter said to me the other day, um, Mom, it's so nice to have you back. But what are you doing that's different? And what I'm doing is pro -femin. I was sent this opportunity through a friend as kind of a funny haha -ha joke because, you know, the inner, the inside joke is we're all going through it, menopause kind of thing. And I thought, what the heck, why not try it? I'm looking for something, anything that's going to help make a change. So it's a big deal thing to move forward and find something that can be this miraculous in your life.